Emma's tears suddenly stopped. She wanted to say sorry to Alex and forget everything she'd said earlier. But then, something caught her attention. The building that was being worked on is now finished and looks beautiful. Emma sees a new sign near the entrance that says John's Bakery. Oh, my God. Someone opened a new bakery right next to ours. What? What does this mean for us, Alex? Are we in competition now? Emma and Alex looked at each other, feeling worried and unsure, they just started to understand what was going on. They were surprised by the news and didn't know what to say. Emma and Alex decide to go inside John's bakery. Emma sees the desserts and bread on display and feels strange. She thinks they look very similar to what she makes. She tells Alex that she doesn't understand how that is possible. Alex, look at these desserts. They look just like ours. I don't understand how this can be. Maybe the owner of this bakery visited our bakery before. He saw what we sell and got ideas from it. Just then, John, the owner of the bakery, appears in front of Emma and Alex. John smiles and greets them. Emma is shocked to see him. John? It's you. I can't believe it. Emma, Alex, what a surprise. I'm glad you came to check out my bakery. It's good to see you both here. I must say, your bakery inspired me. Inspired you? You copied everything I baked. You can't sell these as your own. You should create your own recipes. Emma, I'm not copying. All the recipes here are my own creations. I got inspired by your bakery and by your book. Wait. Did you say by your book? John understands that he accidentally said too much. He tries to protect himself. A book? I didn't say anything about a book. You heard it wrong. Emma realizes that John was at their bakery when she showed the recipe book to Alex. Emma becomes very angry. She accuses him of taking her book and using her family's recipes. Liar. I know, it was you. You took my recipe book. How could you do this to me and my family? I thought you were a friend. What are you talking about? You can't prove anything, Emma. Everyone will think you're crazy. But I know what you did. You stole my book. Be careful with your words, girl. John gets more angry because of Emma's words. He moves closer to her, looking aggressive. But Alex stands in front of Emma. Don't touch her, John. We're leaving now. Let's go, Emma. We need to calm down. Go back to your bakery and prepare for closing it soon. You can't compete with me anymore. The next few weeks are stressful at Martina's Bakery. There are fewer customers coming after John's Bakery opened nearby. The financial difficulties are getting more serious. Emma feels worried. She shares her thoughts with Grace. Everyone seems so unhappy lately. I really don't know what to do. I think our bakery is in trouble. I'm worried too, Emma. The situation is difficult now. Alex understands the worries of his team. He decides to gather everyone together for a meeting. I want to be honest with you, the bakery is having a difficult time now. Emma, Grace, I'll understand if you want to look for new jobs. I won't be angry with you. But I really hope for your support. I believe together we can overcome this. Saving the bakery is my goal. I'll support any ideas. The bakery and our friendship are important to me. I'm with you. Thank you for your support. I have a plan. I hope this will help to overcome the competition. Emma, I think you should create a new dessert. Something special. I believe you can do it. Grace and I will help you with this. Emma is touched by Alex's words. She worries if she can create something interesting. But she agrees to try. It's difficult for me, but I'll try to do my best.
one day, a mysterious customer walks into the bakery. Emma greets him. His face seems familiar to her, but she can't remember where she's seen him before. The man says he wants to try every treat in the bakery. Wait, did I hear you correctly? You want to try all of them? That's right. I'd like to taste every treat you have. Please take a seat. I'll prepare your order. Emma is nervous and shares her suspicions with Grace. Grace, this man is strange. He wants to try all the desserts we sell here. I think this person might be another competitor. What do you think? He doesn't look like a competitor. He looks more like a movie star and quite attractive, actually. Emma and Grace bring the order to the man. He starts to try everything. Emma notices him taking notes. This makes her feel more suspicious. A little later a man is calling Emma to come to his table. He has a few questions. Excuse me, who is the baker? Who made these desserts? I am. Is there something you'd like to know? Did you use dark chocolate or milk chocolate in this recipe? And did you add nuts here? All the recipes are secret, I'm afraid. I can't tell the details. Why are you asking me this? Oh, sorry. I didn't introduce myself. I'm a food critic. My name is Anthony Jones. Anthony Jones? I recognize your face now. I've read your dessert blog. I always thought you were so cool. Sorry, I thought you are another competitor who wants to steal my ideas. As you can see, I'm not a competitor. I'm not here to steal anything. Actually, I'm a little disappointed with the treats here. I expected something better from you. I'm sorry, I don't know your name. You are? Emma. Emma, I heard good things about this place. So I came to see for myself. I was hoping to try something more special. Emma feels shocked by Antony's words. Antony is talking about her pastries like they're not good. He should give her one more chance. He should see how great her desserts can be. Emma hopes he will come back to the bakery to try her new dessert. I understand. I'm actually working on a new dessert. It will be something amazing. I hope you can come back in a few days to try it. I promise you won't be disappointed.